Welcome, and here we're looking at the S&P 500 on the four-hour chart, and uh, been working our way through wave four here. Um, wave four is always a little bit tricky, well, most of the time, because they're normally sideways and complicated. It kind of looks easier in hindsight after it's done as an A and a B and a C here. And it makes it a correction uh, because the, the strong move up here overlaps this particular, um, this low through here. So that being the case, we should see new highs above through here. So we'll be looking at a, at a five wave structure moving up through uh, this way. And most of the other markets have fallen in line as well. Um, in Europe, um, uh, the Australian market had pulled back quite a, quite a way. Um, more like 50%, and we'll look at that in a moment, but um, they're kind of all on the same page in a way. Uh, so the move up on the S&P 500 looks a little bit like this, so up for one, back for two, and then we're looking for a little third wave here in the one, two, strong third wave here, little fourth and fifth for the top of the third, the fourth, the fifth for wave one, an A and a B and a C back for wave two here. Um, I suggest any retest back into the 1830 here, allow it to whatever happens if it retests back in allow it to retest and then look for a long position in uh, in, in whatever sort of signals that you use for yourself um, so we're looking for a move up from that point there the D DJ is much the same as well as you can see here uh, it's a slightly weaker than the S&P 500 the S&P 500 will be leading to the upside the Dow is leading to the downside uh, it hasn't moved up into this area here to make it corrective just yet. So it is lagging. It is following the S&P leading will have more range in it. So be mindful of that. Uh, the DAX uh, has quite a nice uh, flat correction here as well. It didn't. It's quite strong as well. Probably the strongest really because it didn't take out this low of the A wave here uh, and is moving straight up. So. Uh, perhaps you bought above the 95 or thereabouts, um, but we should expect uh, a pullback uh, either from the current high, depending on the Asian session, of course, and uh, uh, but some sort of uh, pullback. So basically buying retracements would be the, the go here and the FTSE uh, as well. It's um, had this sideways uh, correction uh, through here and as as wave four i don't know if we should put wave four here or over here it's just a little bit messy it does look impulsive partly up through here but it never finished a particular last little structure through here so it's sort of truncated in, in here so we may have wave one here and wave two here but i'm just putting this wave well it should really go here if it's going to be in line with the other wave four so that may be the better place for it um as mentioned yesterday, was, the idea was to trade up to the 6,800 here and and then move out and wait for support again. Because we've got a nice strong uh, sideways correction here, it's, it's like an accumulation uh, process and um, in squaring time, uh, time here and price here, we should see further upside to the 6,900 here. The ASX market, as I mentioned, has pulled back um, further than the other markets, uh, being a commodity dollar obviously being affected there, but the base metals were uh, up last night where they went up and they've pulled back a, a, a fair whack as well, but they're still mainly positive. Um, this weekly chart here is just sort of outlining the positive wave structure uh, for this particular market, which should be sort of in line with the uh, the global markets, I guess, you know. Um, but for, for us, there's, for the Australian market anyway, commodity market, uh, it's quite possible that this wave five here uh, is not wave one. It's the top of, um, you know, the larger correction that we've been looking at in terms of an A and a B and a C wave up here. So I'm, I'm always mindful of that. So any weakness that I see, and especially last yesterday, um, you know, really sort of helps enforce this being uh, a top here. But um, labeling it as wave one here in terms of the bullish count um, is sort of in line with things. So let's see how we go with that uh, to do, over the next few sessions. This particular move up through here, we're gonna have a look at that. I've labeled this as one and back for two here. 
so here we go here in terms of the wave one here and the wave two here the pullback down here was 50 percent of the previous wave here um so look it just really needs to push up from here in line with the other markets you can see that the other markets have pretty much except for the dow uh the dow hasn't breached this particular low point coming down through here where the other markets have so the dow uh is the second sluggish market and this one's even you know worse so so just be careful about trading long here the financials were industrial financial and industrials were leading to the upside overnight so um have a look at cba market depth volume coming into it on the morning session because it will probably be the driver for this particular market um this is just the way that i've counted it here um, as you know i was looking for a wave four here i understood that this is corrective through here but um i've it's this labels better in labeling it the three four here and the five here uh, the wave one here, an A and a B and a C here. Even this C wave, I have to say, is not really sort of completed. This is still possible for this to be a fourth wave and a fifth wave to come down through here. So we really need to see it push up here and find support on 52. 50. If it can find a nice solid support on 52.50, then that would be a safer long trade. Um, in terms of current situations, um, it's at 52.33, so it's at the top of subgroup one. So 52.10, 52.20, 52.30, and looking into that. So uh, it hasn't developed support on on here just yet, but if it if it does, then uh, we'll see it move up to the 52.50. But the 5250 here as as support here would really sort of confirm the 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 upside here but obviously um the u.s markets were up reasonably strong the shanghai was up strong um so it's likely that will you know will push up leading with you know perhaps the uh financials so pretty much any trade above the 52.30 would be fine with stops under the 52.20 here at 52.16 something like that there for the upside a small position and looking to add on uh, the 52.50, probably even 52.40 if you wanted to. A um, little bit tricky to count the structure up here, but we do have little five waves here. So it's sort of up for one here, back for two here. But I can't really read this here. So this can be corrective or impulsive to the upside just yet. It's it does, it's not really saying anything uh, just yet. But um, yeah, uh, trade with the strength and trade with the, the current uh, situation. All right, cheers.